Good evening, dear friends. I warmly welcome you on the screens of your YouTube receivers. So, finally, the secret of how to completely get rid of belly fat has been revealed. Not partially, not temporarily, but forever. So that your protruding, elegant belly with its sticking out belly button finally turns into a powerful muscle with abs. An unlimited number of abs will be available to you. At the end of this video, start timing. Your stomach will decrease by one centimeter. So friends, I am dissatisfied with you. Here I am looking at you through the screen of your YouTube receivers. There you sit, each in your own way. Your stomach is protruding, uneven and skewed. I don't need subscribers like that. Or let's either unsubscribe or bring yourself to such a divine look right now. For this, a special exercise has been developed for you by the Nuclear Exercise Complex for Abdominal and Spinal Muscles. I brought these fresh exercises especially for you. I'll show them to you now so I won't be ashamed of you because there are already a million, two, three, one and a half of you there. If all of you are going to be pot-bellied, hunchbacked, that's not very good. That's for some other there who himself isn't very much on the letter Shesh can have such subscribers. All my subscribers should be handsome. If you're not like that, unsubscribe from me. Go subscribe to him. No need to be ashamed of all this. Understood? In general, for you, so that you always look handsome, so that I look at you and do not get upset, we will do a special exercise for you now. So the point is, look, that we have a back extensor with you. Such a powerful muscle goes along the spine, and this muscle can perform its function incorrectly. Its lower part, this one here, it's very rare that it stops working. But often the upper part, which stabilizes the upper part of the lumbar and thoracic region, it often weakens, because our lifestyle is such that we are always sitting. And this part of the muscle does not get enough load, so we need to periodically give this load, train this muscle, keep it toned. Because under the influence of the laws of physics, chemistry, and biology, changes in neurophysiology also occur. Neurodynamics, biochemistry, biogeodynamics generally change the position of our body. Biomechanics. The pelvis has changed its position due to the tension in the lower part of the back extensor the stomach automatically protruded forward because the abdominal muscles couldn't counteract the efforts of this part of the back extensor. They couldn't maintain their tension strong enough to return the pelvis to its proper position. Why did this happen? Because this upper part of the back extensor turned off, stopped working, refused to work. What should we do? Make it work again. How to make it work? I really want to finally make it work. I can tell by the eyes, even put the spoon aside, can't chew anymore, right? Don't feel like eating anymore. Lost your appetite. Look at your belly in the mirror. But it will come back now, we will start making it with you now. Well, let's do it. Get ready, prepare your sports leotards. Put on the shirt you train in, a tank top, and let's get started. So friends, watch carefully. Take notes in your notebooks, make marks, because you'll need to do this exercise, this set of exercises for five days. Do it for five days, your waist will decrease by five centimeters in five days. Do it for five days, then write in the comments how much it has decreased for you. If you do it for six days, also write. So friends, in order for us to make the stomach flat with you, with seven, eight cubes, however many cubes there are, you want 14? For this, you take such a roller. You put it on the floor. It can be on any surface on which you can lie down. Don't hesitate. Lie down on it. In general, we lie down on it like this. So that where your shoulder blades are, the lower edge of your shoulder blades ends. That's how you lay down on it. You can throw your hands up here. Put your hands up. If they don't lie down there, you can put them to the sides. You can even put them down. It's not that important. 
if your chest muscles will pull too much. Don't throw your hands up either. Here your task is to stretch this upper part of the abdomen so that you get a little bent in the spine and in this way, the upper part gets relaxed. Partial oblique abdominal muscles, rectus abdominis muscle. Here you can carefully, if you are not confident in yourself, you have no experience. Working with abdominal organs, do not understand which side your liver is on. Spleen, stomach, just carefully. Do not press deeply. Just go along the lower edge of the ribs and press out all the seals, all the painful areas, that is. Work through the muscles. No need to go deeper. Don't strive to knead your liver or gallbladder there. Just go along the lower edge of the ribs in this way and your muscles will relax faster. The rectus abdominis muscle, the oblique muscles. You may find that there will be more pain on one side, less on the other. That is, like this. You climb a little under your ribs here, climbed in with your fingers and held it a little. That is, if possible, you can even touch the inside of your rib a little. But it all depends on how much the layer of fat cells under your skin is expressed there. This is the first stage. Because of this, we have slightly relaxed our abdominal muscles. Now we will put a load on the back muscles. We remove our roller, kindly provided by the medical roller plant of the city of Tsvilsk, the leader in the production of rollers, by the way, in the world today. So, we carefully lie down on the same surface, and here everything depends on the strength of your back muscles. To start, just stand on your forearms like this. You can lean, you can look at the floor at this time, you can look at your phone, it doesn't matter the same effect is achieved. And now try to slowly remove the load from your hands. Just like this and move your hands back here and maintain the same position. Here you are holding on with your hands and now you've moved your hands back here just like this. This can be quite difficult if your back isn't strong enough if your muscles get tired. We will need such a roller if it's hard to just hold this position. Watch what you're doing, that is, into this same pose. What pose is this? What's it called? Sphinx or something? I don't know. I'm not familiar with your yoga. So basically, you put your hands here, and now we stretch our hands forward. See, and at this moment, our back also has to work. And back here, right here, right under your chin, right here. If it's the same as some medical YouTubers have, you can even touch it with your chin. This very roller, but if not, it will slip under it. So you made a move and came back here, made another move and came back. And you can make 10, 15 of such movements. Your back, specifically, your back extensor will be very well strained at this moment. Such movements, that is, this is the next stage. First, you just lie down like this. If your back muscles are not developed well enough to rely on your hands. Second, you lean on the roller and roll it like this. See, back and forth, back and forth, just like this. Gently, as if it's dough for pies. What kind of pies do you like? Go ahead and write in the comments. I love the ones with cherries. You can send me a couple of pictures in the comments with pies, with cherries. Then you can make it more complicated, but for starters, this will be enough for you. You're not a gymnastics expert, after all, of international class. That's how it is, friends. Next, we have a complex. After that, we take a different roller. See, what a set of rollers. One is big, the other one is smaller. Choose the smaller one for convenience. Now, as you've noticed, you've been pushed a little bit in the other direction. We take this roller, maintain the same position with the tension in the back muscles, place this roller right here on the sacrum between the back and... What? Between the sacrum and the wall. And in this position now, you need to reach back here with your hand and stretch right here with your hand due to the twisting, due to the movement in the shoulders, and your abdominal muscles will work on both sides. 
That is, your task is to make turns. If you notice that it doesn't work asymmetrically, first make a move to one side, then make a move to the other side, and at the same time always try to maintain this state when you are bent back. That is, don't lean like this, don't make such a tilt. Do it ten times to one side, ten times to the other side, and alternately another ten, fifteen times to one side, to the other side. You will also feel it, and your back will strain, and you may also feel your abdominal muscles. And finally, the final exercise is you take a band, fix it in the door in a certain secret way. Just shove it into the door like this, it will hold there. Hook it on your elbow, don't hook it on the handle or it will tear off. And we pull this rubber band with our elbow and make a similar turn to the one we just did with you. Make such a movement also in one direction ten times I'll show you from the back as well. Right here into the hole, as your hand goes in neatly, don't miss here. If you do it here, it will tear off like this. Precision is vital here. You take it right here and shove it in like this. Don't be shy, shove it in up to your elbow. You put your hand here on your buttock and pull like this. Make this kind of turn as well. Just do it like this. Don't be shy. Put your elbow here and turn. And the load will also go to your abdominal muscles, to your latissimus muscles, to everything that is usually not used in your life. So friends, congratulations on your strong abdominal muscles. Your stomachs are now tucked in, looking at me from the other side of the screen. It's also nice to look at you instead of sitting there like amoebas before. That's more like it. It's nice to look at you. Well then, I need these kinds of subscribers. Let's subscribe, like, and leave comments. Exercise and help our parents. Until the next broadcast.